Hey everyone, it's Lara from OurEarlyHouse.com and today I'm going to share with you guys a recipe that I use in my house all the time. This is a very, very simple, all-purpose house cleaner that works so well that I use it on basically everything. This stuff only requires two ingredients, three if you're gonna count the water, and this is actually pretty crazy how well this stuff works. So I am a huge neat freak, I like things. Now, this has kind of changed since having kids. I'm still a neat freak, I like things clean, but I have given up on things like toys, This they're gonna be everywhere over the house. But I'm pretty particular about my countertops, and I really am particular about my mirrors, I don't like any streaks on them. I also don't like all the chemicals that are found in conventional products like Windex, and so I have found this stuff to work even great on mirrors, windows, floors, countertops, everything. So over on the blog, I talk about several different essential oils that you can use for cleaning and which ones are best, but I personally like to stick to good old fashioned lemon because lemon has some really powerful cleansing and purifying properties to it. It's even good if you are cleaning off the countertop after you've made something with raw chicken or your vanities in your bathroom. Really good for just kind of getting rid of germs and I love the scent of lemon. So I'm still gonna get that fresh lemon clean smell that I'm always used to. And on cleaning day, I love to diffuse some lemon or some other citrus oils in my diffuser just to kind of get that smell throughout the house. And I'm also gonna be using some vinegar. Now for the vinegar, I'm just using regular white vinegar. White vinegar is the most acidic and that acid in the vinegar is what's gonna make it work so well to break down things like soap scum, hard water stains, or just anything that's soiled in your home that you're trying to clean. So I have here a 16 ounce glass spray bottle. Now you see it's glass and it's amber color. And that's because when you're using essential oils, it's best to use glass and amber or blue or something darker colored because they can lose their potency if it's sitting in direct sun sunlight and it's in like a clear glass jar like this. So I always try to go with the dark bottle. And then it's always important to use glass instead of plastic when you're using anything with essential oils because over time, essential oils can break down plastic and it can pull some of the toxins out of the plastic. So using glass is always the safest way to do this. Now this is a 16 ounce glass spray bottle and I'm just going to pour in eight ounces of vinegar. So we're gonna do half and half vinegar and water. And then for 16 ounces, I'm gonna do about 25 drops of lemon oil. And then I am just going to Top this off with some water. Now, if you are just using regular tap water, that is fine, but if you boil your water first or use distilled water, it will actually help to prevent bacteria from growing and make your spray last a little bit longer. And I like to give this a good shake before each use because obviously water and oils don't mix well together. And so giving a good shake before each use just ensures that the oils and water and vinegar is all mixed together. Little caution though, there are certain surfaces like granite and marble or other natural stones that vinegar is not good for. I have a free three-day email course that you guys can sign up for if you're looking for more natural cleaning swaps. That will be just some different recipes and tips that'll come straight to your inbox just for a few days to help you guys get some more things switched over in your home to have a more toxic-free home. If this is your first time on my channel, I'd love to hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on on essential oil education, healthy recipes, and natural remedies. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.